Maybe I should be maybe I should be sponsored by uh, Tim Hortons. So I thought I'd take a little break. Everything's going on point, in my opinion. I did make a few mistakes. The first mistake I made is the outside of this tree down here. All the water would uh, what's it called pitch or something? I don't friggin' know, but it's all rotten. So what I should have done is got my bigger saw and shave the whole tree. Just like I say on my other videos, take off the bark where you know where you want to carve because you'll see what's inside of the, the, the good wood, right? Let me show you. Like this is the water wood. See the color here? This is all rotten. So this, all, this whole layer needs to come off. It needed to come off. See, there's still some right here. Okay? That needs to come off. So what I should have done, like I said, got my big saw and sliced this whole tree to get to the heartwood, the harder wood in the inside, okay? So what I got to do now is I got to get my saw, and I'm going to, this is all going to be rocks down here. I'm going to take all this stuff off. I won't show you guys that. It's a mess. You guys can see it. Uh, I started doing it right here. Like all this stuff. See it? Just all punky. That's what you call punky wood. No good. Get rid of it. Okay? So I did... I did cut this, the friggin' thingy thing of this tree here too thin. So it's kind of weak. So I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to cut that off and dowel this, in, this tree in after. I don't, I'm into this for about an hour and a half. I don't want to spend too much time on this piece because, well... I still got a lot of painting and stuff to do. So carry on, everybody. Carry on. I'm going to uh, get this wood off here. I won't show you me filming. And then I guess I'll start uh, carving the gnome's face. This tree here, this bigger tree. So I, I decided to do one big tree on one side and, and two smaller trees on the other side to make them all odd numbers, right? So, well, two's not odd number, but whatever. I can carve a little door in there. You know what I mean? So, anyways, carry on, carry on. Okay, so I have been carving like a crazy madman. I was here at, I think, 9 this morning. And what time is it now? It's 1, so 10, 11, 12, 1. I've been at this for four hours. So I think I'm pretty well done with the chainsaw carving. Now what I'm going to do is, well, I guess I'm going to get my torch and, and burn it. Get rid of all the fuzzies. Then I'm going to spray paint in the, inside those rocks black, and then I'll sand it. I got to paint the gnome. I got to paint the trees. And, well, carry on. Okay, you can see there I got it burnt pretty good. Um, I forgot I needed to sand the gnome's hat and the body. So what I'm going to do first is I got this, uh, let's see, come on, grinder with a little flap. It's like 46 grit. Okay, a little flap sander, sandpaper. I'm going to go along the trees and the, the, the gnome's 
mustache and beard with this uh, nylon, red nylon brush. And then after I clean the friggin' gnome friggy friggy hat with the thing, then I'm going to use this uh, orbit sander with uh, 80 grit sandpaper on it to uh, clean it up a bit better. And then I guess I got to paint inside the rocks black and then uh, start painting the trees and start painting the gnome. Okay, so I see that's going pretty good. You can call this done now if you want to. But my object of this piece is to make it kind of more brighter, you know. So the gnome's going to be painted and the treetops are going to be painted. And I'm going to take this outside right now, spray paint in between the rocks black, and I'm going to hit it with my uh, flap sander again to make it everything. I'm taking it outside because I'm going to spray it, then I'm going to light, light it on fire and dry the paint faster and um, just carry on. Let's see. I like that door in the tree. Okay, so it's now 2.30 in the afternoon and this is what I got. So I kind of just did a little bit on the back because it's not a it's not a full 360 carving, but I did the three thing things and kind of thing things and things. So I'm pretty tired. I'm, I'm not complaining, but I'm pretty I'm pretty worn out. I've carved like like 80 Christmas trees and you got to put the lights in them I'd say seven I'd say uh, 60 of the Christmas trees I glued the lights in so um, this isn't uh, oh, I want to say something for all the proclaim troll carvers out there that don't like the audience carving trees and I, I really don't care if you want to proclaim yourself a pro carver go ahead myself well, what makes you a pro carver? Well, I've sold 80 trees. I've sold them all. 80 Christmas trees. I'm not going to say how much, but it's enough to fly me to, to over to Asia, which I'm going to do pretty soon, in a couple of months, and I'm going to vlog. But so, if you want to call yourself a proclaimed carver and hate on Jordy Johnson? Well, I guess since I've sold so much friggin' Christmas trees, I'm not a pro, I'm a friggin' master. Yep, I'm a damn fucking master. And the only thing I'm a master yet, I'll tell you right now, is fucking shit up. Yep, that's why heavy hands strikes again. This piece is pretty well good the way it is, but fuck, I guess I'll take it. Okay, so carbon kind of fusion style. Got this thing here. Got some green paint. I do have some lighter green. So, just watch me fuck it up. Pardon my language, but me swearing well the people that don't like it, well you can leave, because you know the kind of people that I want to have around it. I shouldn't just talk because, well, you just get tired. And you get kind of, that's a nice color green. It's not too, uh, you can still see the wood through it. Yeah, I like. Let's hit it with a touch of this uh, lighter green here.
Abra friggin' cadabra. Okay, I'll get the trees done. Okay, so this guy is gonna have a silver hat. Why do I want to do silver? Well, because I think this guy should have a silver hat. That's just kind of the bottom line. Where's my stick? Oh, the sun is shining! Oops, we got some runs. Ooh, that burns, that silver burns the cuts. Oops. Overspray, fucking her up, fucking her up. Okay, so we got this uh, red paint here. Here's another tip from the master. Because I don't, I don't have patience to sit and diddle and doodle and tape everything up. So all I'm going to do is spray this uh, red spray paint into this master snowman cup. Yeah, I didn't get here till uh, 9.30 this morning. It's probably like 3 o'clock now. So you just spray it in there, cause I know I, cause I know I didn't go to the dollar store this morning, cause I had to get paint brushes in these cups till 9:30. So probably got here around 10. All I do, there you go. Here's a tip from the master. I just paint this in here. You guys have all have your own ways. I have my way. And that's just what I do. Because I just get shit done. So I'll paint like uh, close to the. See, I'll paint all in here. Well, I guess I should. I got to paint because this guy has a base. I should probably get a bigger brush. Yeah, there's some red paint here. Who cares? I'll grind that off after. I'm going to get the spray can. Watch the master screw it up. Yep, there you go. Screw it up. Oh, it looks like kind of neat with that uh, red and green on the trees. So now I'll go do the other side. What's the saying? I'll be back. Oh, we might as well bring you guys along. Painting by the master. Carving fusion. Shit his pants. Yeah. I'm just such a messy person at this because it's uh, patience, right? You need patience, which I don't have. Well, I do have, but I don't have. I'm learning to get my patience up. Uh, better as the years go by actually this is going to be demonstrated um there's a christmas sale at that lavender land place i've talked about before and uh i gotta carve 10 more trees tomorrow too oh well, so you guys know that's what i'll be up to Okay, very good. Where's the spray can? Where's the spray can? Here it is. That's all. What's the saying? Carry on. Carry on. Okay, so I'm the same master uh, painter tip. Um, I'm just going to do the same thing with the beard and the mustache. 
I'm going to paint it white. I probably won't like it. It's going to look too bright, but then I'll burn it after, okay? So I got a bigger brush too, but I won't bore you guys. I'll get this done. Okay, so you guys can see the white's all... The white's all in here. I fucked up. I got shit down here. Probably my, ah, I gotta stop swearing. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn this white paint because it's just too white for me. And I'm gonna burn all this crap down here too. Doesn't look so white anymore, does it? Huh? Okay, so now I'm gonna get the, uh, oops, missed the spot. Now I'm gonna get my nylon wheel again. <laughs> it looks pretty good, I think. I think it does. Okay, just to show you guys, this is something that I sketched out a few weeks ago. This is kind of the way I wanted to do it, but I just don't have enough time to, to, to put the door behind it. I could carve a door out of one of my slabs and throw it on behind it, but I think it's good enough for now. I'm calling her a wrap for today, but this video is continued tomorrow because uh, I want to let that silver dry properly, and I want to uh, come back to because this isn't a winter gnome, right? I don't want to come back tomorrow and uh, draw the my my studio on the lake uh, swirly lines and dots with this uh, acrylic paint. Then I'll put a clear on it and call her done. Okay. So and another reason why I'll come back tomorrow because I've run out of time today. So I think it's like three thirty now. So what? Uh, let's say nine thirty till three thirty. Ten thirty, eleven thirty, twelve thirty, one thirty, two thirty, three six hours. I'm happy with that. I gotta, I'm doing this gnome for a lady. I gotta finish painting the beard tomorrow too and do the swirly lines on. Uh... Okay, it's now day two. So I gotta finish, I gotta finish this off. Something that's really bothering me about this piece. Well, this tree here, I'm gonna set up the camera on the tripod. I'm gonna show you how unstable this tree is because I cut it too thin at the uh, freaking freaking trunk thing so okay I'm just gonna move it a bit so you guys can see so this this piece is for like you know kids and a family and stuff like that and or grandkids so I think they'll probably be jumping all over this piece so watch the tree see how much it moves that's gonna break off sooner or later and I don't want to sell any pieces that where I know it's gonna break and they're gonna call me and say one of the trees broke off yeah, well, because your grandkids were making a swing out of it. That's why. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this right here with my chainsaw. Then I'm going to, I'm going to, 
I thought about using dowels, but I don't need to use a dowel. What I'll do is I'll cut it here. I'll make that uh, tree trunk into like a round ball around like a, I'll make this tree trunk a dowel itself and then I'll hollow out inside the tree and then glue it on top. And that should never come off. Okay, so now the tree's all glued in, epoxied in. Um, yeah, it's a lot more solid. It doesn't bend or anything. Um, I finished off the uh, painting on that guy's cap over there, the little black lines. Okay, so I used uh, cheap acrylic paint right there. So now what I'm going to do is finish off the uh, paint lines on this guy's hat. Okay, so there you can see the quick painting's done. Uh, almost dry. I heated it up with the heat with my uh, torch. So the next question is, what's going to go in here? What's going to sit on that screw like Ben Studio on the Lake does, huh? What's going to sit in the treehouse? No, let's do this. Abra, cadabra. <laughs> It's a little gnome inside his tree house. Guys, I did spray this, and girls, I did spray this with the clear coat right here. I used a whole can. That stuff doesn't last the best outdoors, but it is what it is. Let me get the uh, camera set on the tripod, and I'll spin this so you guys can see it. I think it's, I think it's neat. I like it. I'm happy with it. Okay, so, uh, oh, yeah, I just set this one up for a camera shoot for the cover photo. I'm going to post a picture on Facebook after this group. So that guy's got the antlers on him. So let's get the camera on the tripod. Okay, so I'll give this thing a whole spin. This is a light piece of wood. So it's like fantasy stuff. You know what? I'm not too keen on carving uh, bright colors, but this for the gnomes and stuff like that. Yeah, and the trees. Why not? I left lots of wood natural color on there. You know, so... About, I'll go, I'm not going to go off about it, but I'm not a pro carver, everybody. I'm just, uh, I'm Jordy Johnson, hack, the heavy hands. Like I said in er earlier video, in, earlier in the video, I, I'm good at fucking shit up. I'm the master of fucking shit up, and that's the way I've been my whole life. I just kind of, uh, I'm like 48 now. I know how to recover from fucking shit up, so, and I try not to. So that's just kind of why I stick to, uh, we're talking about real life things, right? So um, that's why I kind of just stick to carving. This is my passion. This is this is uh, what I love to do. And so you guys, you know, like if, like this tree, I, I thought about it and I knew it wasn't that stable. This one here, now look at it. That's like I screwed it up, but I fixed it. You guys can fix your problems in life too. You just have to try harder with anything. That's all. I try hard at this. I try hard, and um, the more I do, the better I'm going to get, and um, I just really, from the from the, all my heart, I want to thank you guys for all your support, and I love seeing your carvings in the group. We got two groups. We got a chainsaw carving group, um, Stephen Kenzora is uh, the main admin, and uh, Chainsaw Carving of Fusion, and Steve, hi Steve Kenzora, if you watch this, and um uh, carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers original. That's for a Dremel carving. So I love seeing all the carvings. I haven't had that much time really lately to uh, to, to go through and see all the pictures, but I do when I'm in bed and just uh, chilling. You know, I, I scroll through and see what everybody's up to. So guys, just thanks for everything. I know this is a long video. Be well and carry on. Master, fucking it up. Yep, fuck it up.